Ilocos Norte's Top 10 Tourist Attractions Do you intend to travel to Ilocos Norte? Why not visit the Philippines' lovely northern coastal region if you don't have a vacation destination in mind? There are many wonderful sites to visit in Ilocos Norte. There's something for everyone here, whether you like natural beauty or the destination's culture and history. In no particular order, these are the top 10 must-see tourist attractions in Ilocos Norte that you should absolutely visit while you're in the province. Number 1. The Sinking Bell Tower. If Pisa's Leaning Tower is famous in Italy, Luog City has its own version, the Sinking Bell Tower. This structure, which stands in the center of the city, is one of the country's tallest bell towers. It is currently 45 meters tall. The tower is known as a sinking tower because it is extremely hefty and was constructed on sand. As a result of the poor foundation and its weight, it began to sink into the ground at a rate of one inch each year. Bell towers are usually seen near churches. This tower, however, is located distant from the cathedral. Number 2. La Paz Sand Dunes. Have you ever wanted to explore the Sahara Desert in Africa or the deserts of the Middle East? Simply visit the La Paz Sand Dunes, a unique geological desert setting found exclusively in Ilocos Norte. The combination of the wind, sea, and river formed these sand dunes, which range in height from 10 to 30 meters. Tricycles or jeepneys can take you to these sand dunes. They're only 15 minutes from the center of town. It is a popular site for both local and international filmmakers to shoot films. Hamala and Pande are two notable local films, whereas internationally or in the United States. Number 3. Cape Bojador. The lighthouse at Cape Bojador is the Philippines' highest elevated lighthouse, still operational and preserved in its original construction from the Spanish colonial time. The lighthouse, which marks the country's northwesternmost point, is strategically placed on Vigia de Nagparshan Hill, with a view of Cape Bojador in the West Philippine Sea, where galleon ships sailed by. It is still used to guide seafarers from China and East Asia away from the rocky coast of Burgos Town in Ilocos Norte Province. Cape Bojador Lighthouse, a recognized cultural heritage that initially operational in 1892, was planned by Majin Purs Y Purs in 1887 and completed by the Lighthouse Service under Guillermo Brockman. Number 4. Malacañang of the North. In Ilocos Norte, Malacang of the North was erected as the late President Marco's official house. It is a two-story structure situated near the fabled Pauai Lake. Bedrooms, a dining room, a kitchen, an office, a large ballroom on the second level, and even an Olympic-sized swimming pool are all included in the property. It also features a large terrace and a lovely garden with beautiful views of the lake. It now serves as the Marcos Memorabilia Museum, which is open to the public. Number 5. Hawaii Church. Hawaii Church is an Ilocandia national property and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Augustinian friars constructed it in 1896 with coral bricks, as evidenced by its huge walls. Furthermore, being a perfect example of a Baroque church, it offers a gorgeous perspective that is evocative of the Spanish era, with elements such as massive and spectacular buttresses on the sides and back of the structure. This tourist destination in Pauai is within a 30-minute trip from Luwag City. Continue straight here after visiting the Malacanang of the North in Suba. Food Recommendation Try the Pinakbet Pizza at Herencia Cafe, which is right in front of the church. Number 6. The Patapat Viaduct is a 30-meter above-sea-level elevated road. 
The municipality of Pagudput in Ilocos Norte is home to this 1.3 km long seaside bridge. This popular street runs over the coastal areas of Pagudput, connecting the Maharlika Highway in Lawag to the Cagayan Valley. This twisting concrete wonder is claimed to be the northernmost roadway segment of Ilocos Norte and is the country's fourth longest bridge. Number 7. Marcos Museum and Mausoleum. The Marcos Museum and Mausoleum is in Batic City, Ilocos Norte, about 30 minutes from Lawag City. The museum is easily accessible because it is located near the bridge where all public buses stop. President Marcos' memorabilia is on display at the museum. It is really well organized, making learning about his life a pleasurable experience for visitors. The admission price is P50 for adults and P0 for children under the age of 4. Number 8. Saud Beach. The most beautiful beach in Asia. Saud Beach, with its famed excellent fine white sand, is Pagudpud's crown jewel. The South China Sea's waters are always a brilliant blue and perfectly clear. This is surrounded by iridescent fish and stunning multi-colored corals. The beach is fringed with overhanging coconut palms, making for a dreamy scene. Fashion picture sessions are common at this location. The best part is that there aren't a lot of people on the beach. While many people compare it to Boracay's White Beach, Saud Beach is just what Boracay used to be, and everything Boracay is not. It is not for profit. Number 9. Bongi Windmills in Pagudput, Ilocos Norte. The Bongi Windmills are a long line of 70 meters high wind turbines lined up over a 9 km stretch of the Bongi Bay shoreline. The turbines, which stand tall over the black sand beach, make up the country's first wind farm, generating enough electricity to meet 40% of Ilocos Norte's power needs. On the road leading to the bay, the windmills are clearly visible. Because there are few signs indicating where to turn, it's better to arrange an Ilocos day tour to ensure you don't miss the turn down the beach. Number 10. Kapurpurawan Rock Formation Burgos, Ilocos Norte, is home to the Kapurpurawan Rock Formation. You'll have to travel down a lengthy and winding, and dirty, road to get there from the National Highway. Because there is no public transportation in the area, having a car would be quite useful. You'd have to stroll in the burning heat of the sun otherwise. The name comes from the formation's usually white appearance. The term Pura signifies white in Ilocano. The rock also has the appearance of a giant dragon guarding the entire coast. Once you've arrived, you'll be greeted with the natural beauty of the erosion caused by years of smashing waves. Ilocos Norte is a province with a lot to offer. Excursions in Ilocos Norte showcase the province's natural beauty as well as its history. Step outside your comfort zone and include Ilocos Norte to your travel itinerary. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Please let me know. Simply leave a comment in the box below. For more travel videos, go here. Please subscribe to this channel let's do it together. Thank you.